Turn around, sir. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything.
Fresh water. As long as it's not holy water, I may find some use for it. Done. Good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan. What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar gave no heed to ethics. His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient? Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an i -Corps. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Oh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise.
Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club, you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. Jonathan, my dear, I can never thank you enough. Thank me? For what? Come now, you know what I mean. I am, well, I'm just like you. Have you no shame? Must I remind you of your ludicrous actions? Of the innocent men and women who died at your hands? Shame is for mortals, Jonathan. I know it now, and you should too. We are something else. Something more. How do you feel? Absolutely fine. Have you ten... Don't you think that's a private matter? Do you feel... Yes. It's very peculiar. Have you news of... He left the hospital without being treated for the severe beating you gave him. We'll meet again soon. Does not the prospect of meeting him as a vampire... Th Maybe we could even share a glass of... wine. I really don't know if... What will... Experiment, my dear Colin. My God, Edgar. Did you... I have, I swear. No more exper... What kind of... Who knows? Nervous shock, brain damage, pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. I could be the next Henry Head. Will you continue? Of course. I... Are you not afraid? I remain a man of peace. Have you seen Elizabeth? No. And I'm terrified. Goodbye, Edgar. I'm certain we'll meet again. There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu.
Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Ah... Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? I have found the carrier, McCullum. The infection's source. It may be science or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor. My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Doctor. The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. 
desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. What is your... I do not understand. Blood. Why would I? And... But who are you? I am your maker. Just... There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But... Why... Only you could provide a... What kind of... Speak to me. The blood of hate. I'm here. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by them. Tell me. A dis... And who? She... The Morrig. She has... So the dis... That's your modern... Tell me what... A disaster is... What? It is the curse of the goddess. I only wish to know... To perform an act so noble, you... I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the... Will it... Yeah. And then what? How would I know? What would... Your fate, my... You tricked me! My... Very soon you'll come to know that be brave. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature?
No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. So it's over then, Yong Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget, what are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered. ...with all the other sewer scars. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury. When we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever. By making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Well, this is it. 
Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. You just leave me alone. Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. Why did Harry... You are the doctor. I noticed that all the Icors were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon them. Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. It's locked. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. That sweet fragrance, Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. Sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. Voila. Abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You told me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, Father. He is a friend. Elizabeth, deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? 
For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover, in time. The city has suffered, but it will prevail in the end. A more cynical analysis would be that this is an acceptable catastrophe. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this, through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. William Marshall infected you he is the true original carrier yes but he saved me by sacrificing himself saved you how the tears of angels the cleansing of impure blood by an older more powerful blood it worked on me did it not yes blood is the definitive key to our species scowls cleansing Lineage, do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate, but my father's antidote cured me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. Not always, Jonathan. I remember how you killed that poor nurse for blackmailing me. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes? Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak, for my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want then? The blood of hate, how does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. 
I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time? You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You would never defeat it. healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. Who cares? We are vampires. We are death. No, Jonathan. I won't bring another disaster into this world. I can't lose you, Elizabeth. Even if it means putting the whole world at risk. How can you say such an awful thing? Where is the Jonathan I once saved from a scowl in this abandoned factory? I'm not that frightened man anymore. I've learned so much. Done so much. I see. So there is nothing worth living for in this world anymore. Farewell, my love. Farewell. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, the price paid most dear. But what do you care? You are the one who keeps killing. You've chosen your path, my fallen champion, like others before you. Pray to lust and desire, slave to the everlasting thirst. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. <laughs>